and everyone welcome to the movie club review tonight we are going to be we'll be reviewing the movie that came out in 1989 and it is called intruder it is a very unique film um, because of the backdrop of it um, intruder is a 1989 horror film directed by scott spiegel and produced by lawrence benner and sammy ramney the film stars Lizard Cox, Renee Estes, and Dan Hicks. Good evening, Walnut Lake shoppers. It's closing time. The store will be closing in 15 minutes. But the night crew still has work to do. Oh my God, we're going to get in so much trouble. Because there's one last customer who isn't satisfied. No, this creep keeps calling her. He's driving us nuts. Leave me alone. He wants to slash their prices. Who's there? He wants to cut their inventory. You're crazy! In fact, he wants to chop until they all drop. I saw him kill Linda. And now he's turning their retail store. There's going to be one more kill in here tonight. Into a wholesale slaughterhouse. <laughs> Alright, so the plot of the film is it's set in the small town grocery store. Intruder follows the night shift employees who find themselves stalked by a mysterious and psycho psycho psychotic killer as they attempt to close up the shop for the night. They soon realize that they're now alone and their struggle for survival begins as they pack off one by one in gruesome creative ways. After watching the movie, I can truthfully tell you guys the death scenes are absolutely freaking amazing. I love them. The amount of gore and the fact that it didn't it, – it's not your typical sla typical slasher film. Regardless, of the, the, the name of the film was very generic in the slasher sense, and that was because the movie studio didn't feel that the original name of the film that is – known as Night Crew, was not good enough, and they wanted a generic slasher film name to, to attract more people. And for the fun fact of, of the whole film, is that the Sammy Ran Randy connection, Sam Randy known for directing Evil Dead series, served as producer on Intruder, bringing his expertise in the horror to the production. His influence can be felt in the film's interactive camera work and visual scares. Yeah, Bruce Campbell also makes a cameo. Fans of Sam Raimi's work will be delighted to spot Bruce Campbell, frequent contributor and star of the Evil Dead series, in a camera role as Officer Howard. Adding a touch of humor to the film. Creative kills. One of the highlights of the Intruder is its inventive graphic death scenes. From a head smashed in a trash compactor to a gruesome encounter with a deli slicer, the film doesn't hold back on delivering shocking and memorable kills. Another thing is the supermarket setting. The setting of a supermarket provides a unique drop back, drop, a backdrop for the horror, turning on an everyday location into a claustrophobic, dangerous environment. The film makes effective use of the space, utilizing the various aisles and refrigeration units for some for the suspenseful chase sequence. Another note fact. When they were doing this, they rented out an empty grocery store. They had to contact a company that provides damaged material, like damaged groceries, um, you, you name it. They call them to come in to fill, stock in all the fill in all the aisles. If you pay attention to some of the close-up scenes, you're going to see a lot of the boxes are damaged. You have to pay attention real close to even notice that. But that's basically what it is. Also, this film has somehow, well, no, not somehow, but managed to get a cult following. While not a major box office success upon its release, Intruder has since gained cult following among horror fans for its stylish direction, practical effects, intense atmosphere, to its often praise for its underrated status within the slasher genre. And me, being a diehard slasher fan, I can say with a 100% with, with certainly, it is an absolutely amazing film. 
Overall, Intruder is a hidden gem of 80s horror, offering plenty of thrills, gore, and nausea, and, and just all the great things of fans of that genre. With that being said, we give the score of an 8 out of 10. It is perfect. You can also watch it currently right now for free on Tubi and other streaming platforms. This is the Movie Club review. And we'll be back later on next week with another review of another hidden 80s gem that is known as Street Trash. Thank you very much. You guys have a great night. And subscribe and like and join the Movie Club.